It says Eugene Panrutkovich on the laptop screen doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Today we have a Dell Studio 17 laptop computer that we're going to show you how to replace the laptop screen on. This particular model is a Dell Studio 1745, but this procedure should work on all Dell Studio 17 laptops with a 17.3 inch LED screen. Alright, so let's get started. Before we do anything, we want to take the battery out so it's not to damage any electronics. What we do is slide this lever on the bottom and slide the battery out like so. Now that the laptop has more power, no power, we can work on it safely. Okay, normally what you do when you replace a cracked screen on a laptop is you remove the front bezel to get to the screen. The bezel is plastic frame around the screen. And normally there's at least a few screws that are holding the bezel in. For Dell Studio laptops, it's a little bit different. There's no screws holding it in. So it makes life easier for us because we just snap off the bezel. So what I like to do is put my fingertips on the screen side and gently start lifting up the bezel like so. And it starts coming off like so. And then you work your way around the screen like so. The bottom a little bit harder. And then where the hinge covers are, it needs a little bit of help. So what we do is we grab some metal tweezers, or you can use a screwdriver, and just gently lift it up here, like so, and it comes off. So the bezel comes off really easily on this laptop. Now, it's doubly important for this laptop to take the battery out because when you're doing all the work, the power button is right where your fingers are, right where you're doing all the work on the bottom right hand side. So it's very easy to turn on the laptop when you're doing the work and you don't want to do that so when you're making connecting and disconnecting connectors. Okay, so before we go any further, let's talk about the tools we're going to use. We're going to use a pair of metal tweezers and an electronics screwdriver with a PH1 head. You can get this screwdriver at Radio Shack or another electronics store. Just make sure it has a PH1 head on it or a PH1 bit for it. Okay, so now that we removed the bezel, the screen is held on to metal mounting brackets on the sides with some screws and we have to get to these screws on the sides and in order to do that we need to tilt the screen assembly forward a little bit and in order to do that we have to remove the screws that are holding the metal brackets at the top like so that's one and for each step for each pile of screws Screws. For each set of screws, I like to keep them in a separate pile on the side so when you're going back and putting the laptop together, you know which screws go where. Here's my pile for these, this set of screws. Now let's try to tilt the screen forward a little bit. We see that it's enough to get, we can get to these screws up here, but there are some screws towards the bottom that we can't yet get to. So we have to loosen up the metal brackets from the back lid in order to tilt the screen forward a little bit. Okay, for this laptop, this part is a little bit tricky because the screw is hiding here. Let's get a good zoom so you can see it's hiding behind some wire. So we just loosen this screw. We don't take it out together, just maybe a turn or two, and we loosen the screws next to it also. Now when we loosen the last screw we can see the back lid falling back a little bit so we can get to the screw that's holding the screen. 
Okay, and we do the same thing on this side. Now, when you do this, make sure you don't forget to tighten them when you put the laptop back together. So, usually the first thing I like to do is, once the new screen is in, is tighten them before I forget. Okay, so now that the back lid is back a little bit, we can gain access to these side screws that are holding the screen onto the metal mounting brackets. There's two screws on each side, one and two, actually three. One, two, and three, four. Four screws on each side. Wow. Okay, usually for HP laptops, newer ones, there's only two screws there holding the screen on each side. I guess Dell is a little bit more careful for the extra money that you pay for the studio. You get two extra screws on each side. All right, so let's loosen these four screws on this, this side. Okay, make sure you don't lose these screws, and once again, keep them in a separate pile. Almost there. And the last screw. Alright, now we're done with that. Let's take a look in the back of the screen. It looks like the video cable has some adhesive on there. And then we can release the, what, not the video cable, the webcam cable. We can release the adhesive from the webcam cable so that we can tilt the screen forward and carefully lay it down like so. So we're almost there. You can see this type of screen only has one connector and it has the connector has some adhesive holding it down. So we lift up this adhesive. You may want to also have a little razor blade to help you lift up the adhesive tape like so. So we remove the adhesive tape. And also for the video cable, there's some adhesive on the back of the video cable that's holding it to the screen. We lift that up. Once we do all that, let's get a close-up zoom. We pull the connector out. Now, the, when people do it themselves at home, the biggest problem I see is they don't put the connector back in all the way. So make sure once you put it in, the connector assembly looks like this. You can even pause it here and make sure it looks like this. Okay, so let's pull it out again. And there's some adhesive on the back of the video camera, so we get to the screen and take it out. Okay, let's take a look at this screen. It's a 17.3 inch LED screen that is readily available from Google or eBay and the connector is on the bottom left and it has a glossy finish. Now Screen Surgeons also sells these screens. Uh, just go to screensurgeons.com and click on buy a screen and then you'll have instructions for to find this particular screen. When you buy the screen from us, you'll get personal email tech support from me when installing this screen. All right, so let's take a look at the screen part number. It's LP173WD1. That's the number that you need to know for this screen. There are several vendors that you that make the screen so the part number you get will most likely be different but if you have this number you'll know that you'll get a fully compatible screen okay and that's it once you get your new screen in you just reverse the procedure put the connector back in put it back in the middle mounting brackets make sure you tighten these screws down here and uh, snap the bezel back in and you'll be ready to go and your laptop should be as good as new. 
Okay, that's it. My name is Eugene Henrich. I'm the laptop screen doc, and the name of the website is www.screensurgeons.com. Thank you, and good luck.